Hi, Dave Kanicki here with the Farm Equipment Editor's Blog for October 16th, 2012. In the next week or so, you'll be receiving the October-November issue of Farm Equipment Magazine that features the 2013 Dealer Outlook and Trends Report. This is based on the survey of North American dealers we conduct annually. Just prior to the Farm Progress Show in Boone, Iowa in early September, I had the opportunity to travel for a day with some investment fund managers visiting farm equipment dealers in Iowa. At some point during one of the meetings, someone asked me what I thought about equipment sales in the year ahead. Based on my conversations with dealers at the time, I told them I thought sales might be down as much as 10%. Several times throughout the rest of that day, I was asked why I thought sales might decline in 2013. I told them that dealers didn't seem to be as confident this year as they were last year at this time, and I pointed out that my com comments at that time were based solely on empirical data. It, it had become obvious to me that the impact of the widespread drought of 2012 and the farmers' reaction to it were the lar biggest unknowns going into the new selling season. Now, the results of the annual survey add more credence to those comments. Last year at this time, 55.3% of dealers surveyed forecast new equipment sales would rise by 2% or more. This year, that percentage fell to 42.6%. The percentage of dealers who believed sales would decline by 2% or more a year ago was only 11.5% versus 26.4% this year. But there were other indications from this year's survey that showed that dealers are not nearly as confident as they were a year ago. One was the number of pre-sales this year versus last year. According to our most recent survey, almost identical percentages of dealers say their early orders are down. This year, 24.9% of those dealers said they were down, compared with 25.3% who reported their pre-sales are up compared with a year ago. On top of this, less than 6% of dealers surveyed said they don't expect a price increase on new equipment in 2013, but a big majority, 86.4%, believe price hikes for new machinery will range from 1% to 6%. On a positive note, more than 82% of the dealers say that order cancellations we're about at the same level as they were last year, with only about 10% reporting cancel orders were higher compared with 2011. Dealer comments were also telling about how dealers felt about their business prospects for 2013. One Indiana dealer put it this way, Farm income is such an unknown for 2013, and I'm not sure where it will end up. I have given my answers to the survey, but I am not confident they will be accurate as time plays out. I plan to be very cautious in ordering in 2013 until I have a clearer picture of the conditions we will be dealing with. All of this is not to say that we are looking at a difficult year in 2013. What it does say is there seem to be more unknowns this year than usual for dealers to think about. Also included with the October-November issue of the magazine is the complete program for the upcoming Dealership Mind Summit, the first conference of its kind for dealers only. It's going to happen at the end of January 2013 in Kansas City, Missouri. More than a dozen dealers from our Dealership of the Year alumni group will be speaking on topics you'll want to hear about. Check our website www.farm-equipment.com for more detail. Thanks for checking in and I'll talk to you next time.